bells ringing in my ear Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear Frosty the snowman is all around town Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet a snowflake. So this is the snowflake that I have for today's video. A super, super pretty one. This is my very first attempt on creating a snowflake. I have here on top of a granny square. You guys can do that as well. You guys can just sew that right on top of the granny square. So you can make anything that you guys want, a cushion cover, a blanket, a Christmas blanket. You can also use the snowflake as a ornament as well for your Christmas trees. And what I have in mind is to create a few appliques for Christmas time, because I know that some of you guys do love to kind of crochet and to learn new little things that it's super quick to crochet. And this is one of them. I have a few more appliques coming up soon because I have a super exciting video once I have all the appliques and the granny squares completed. You guys can use any granny square as well. I've done right here a super simple granny square. As you guys can see, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to crochet this one already. And if you guys don't know how to crochet this one, don't worry, I will be showing you guys how to crochet this one not in today's video so this is just like a little introduction the other videos showing you guys the appliques will be a little bit quicker and also I'm not gonna be showing my face as you can already see because I think that these videos are super short so I just wanted to go straight to the point for today's video I have right here a 3.5 millimeters hook a small pair of scissors if you want you can use a stitch marker for this one it's quite easy you don't really need a stitch marker um, also a tapestry needle to weave in all of the ends and also I have here a cream yarn You guys can use a white one as well, but I think using a cream one It just contrasts better here with my granny square So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video If you do make sure to give a massive thumbs up Also, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video Especially now that I'm going to be posting even more videos for you guys so stay tuned for that. So enjoy the video guys and let's begin with today's tutorial. So this yarn that I'm using right here, it's a two, number two, so it's super thin as you can see. So we are going to be starting with a slip knot and then we are going to be chaining six. And you can also start with a magic ring if you want. Once you've done the chain of six, you're gonna go back into the very first chain and we are going to be creating right here a slip stitch just to connect both the beginning and the end together. And what we are going to be doing now is working inside, right in the middle here of our circle. So we are going to be starting with a chain of three and then we are going to be creating two double crochets inside here of our circle. And then we are going to chain three and then three double crochets. Chain three and three double crochets. And we are going to be repeating this until we have six groups with the three double crochets. I will show you once I get to the end. So just continue doing the three double crochets and chain of three. As you can see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six groups with the double crochets. Also, make sure that you do add the chains in between here, the little groups. When you get at the end, you're going to be chaining three and then you're going to be connecting right here into the chain three, right at the top with a slip stitch. So we are going to be slip stitching until we get to a chain three. So just slip stitch until you get to the top of the chain three, the very first one. So now we are going to be creating some clusters with four double crochets together. So we are going to be starting right here with the chain of three. The chain of three is just to start right here, but it does count as a stitch for the very first one. And then we are going to be wrapping the yarn around the hook. We're going to be creating here the first part of the double crochet. And then we are going to yarn over and pull through two 
but keeping that last loop right here on the hook. And then you're going to be doing this two more times. There we go. And now you're going to be having four loops here on the hook. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all the four loops here on the hook. And then you're going to chain three and you're going to be creating another cluster right here with the chain three here. The same chain three that we've created the first one. So wrap the yarn around the hook. You're gonna go through the chain. You're going to pull up a loop right here, yarn over, pull through the two loops right here, the very first two. And then you're going to be repeating that three more times. So now we are basically doing the cluster with the four double crochets. The first one was with the beginning here with the chain. So this is what we are going to be doing. So for this one, we are going to be having five loops here on the hook. So you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops together. So to transition from this chain to this one right here, we are going to be chaining five. So one, two, three, four, Five. And when you get on top of the next chain right here, we are going to be creating the two clusters and the chain three here at the top, right in between the two clusters. So you're going to be creating the first cluster right here. And then you're going to chain three. And then you're going to be creating the next cluster. So once you have completed here your little group with the clusters, you're going to be chaining five and then you're going to be repeating again on top of the next chain. And then you're going to be repeating on top of each chain right here, the same pattern until you get to the end. Also remember to chain five when you finish a little group. So I'm going to be doing mine right here and then I'll meet you right at the end. So once you have finished your round right here, right at the end, you wanna make sure that you do chain five here, and then you're going to be connecting to the other side with a slip stitch. So now to go into the third row, we are going to be slip stitching until we get to the middle here of this little group, right on top of the chain three. So you're going to slip stitch until you get to the chain three right here. When you get right at the top here, we are going to chain three, and then we are going to be creating three double crochets. And then we are going to chain three, plus four double crochets into that same chain three space. So we are creating a shell right here. Right on top of the chain five, we are going to be creating right here a single crochet. And then from here, you're gonna go straight into the chain three and you're going to be creating another shell. So four double crochets, a chain of three, plus four double crochets. on top of the chain five, a single crochet. And then from here, we are going to be repeating the same steps all the way around. So I'll meet you right at the end. When you get at the end, you're going to be having right here the chain five. So you're going to create a single crochet. And then right at the very first shell right here, we are going to be creating a slip stitch right on top of the chain that we've created at the beginning. So now we are going to go into our very last row, which is just creating single crochets and some peacots here and there, as you can see in the middle, right on top of the chain three. So you guys can just choose how you want to do that. So now is the time that maybe you will need to use your stitch marker because we are going to be working with single crochets and it's quite hard to find the beginning. So we are going to chain one and we are going to be creating our very first single crochet into the next stitch. And then right here, 
into the very first single crochet I'm going to be placing my stitch marker and then I'm going to be creating into the next stitch a single crochet and what we are going to be doing is just following the stitches that we have here and creating the single crochets right on top when you get to the chain three here which is in between the double crochets we are going to be creating a single crochet and then we are going to be creating a picot every time we create a single crochet after that we're going to be creating a picot so the picot is chaining three and then we are going to go right into the very first chain right here right at the beginning there is a little loop here at the back so you're going to go through the loop make it a little bit tighter and then you're going to go through the first one which is a slip stitch and then that creates the picot and then you're going to be creating a single crochet and then another picot so chain three go back here into the very first chain at the back into the loop tighten a little bit and slip stitch single crochet and then create the last picot right here and then the last single crochet so now from here we are gonna go and we are going to be creating single crochets remember that you have four double crochets right here so you want to have as well four single crochets so one two three and four there we go when you get into the single crochet right here into the previous row we are going to be creating a picot right here chain three go back and slip stitch and then you're going to find the next stitch and then you're going to be creating the single crochet here we are going to be creating the single crochets on top of the double crochets so four so one two three four which is equivalent to the numbers of double crochets when you get to the chain three we are going to be creating single crochet, picot, single crochet, picot, single crochet, picot and then continue. You would just want to make sure that you have the three picots right here. So now I'm just going to be continuing right here with my single crochets and the picots to finish and to give a little finishing here to our snowflake because this is what it gives the snowflake effect. It's the little picots, the little spikes. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that you do that because it looks really pretty as well. I'm getting here towards the end. So I'm going to be creating my very last picot right on top of the single crochet from the previous row so right here I'm going to be creating my last single crochet just before I slip stitch everything in place so remove the stitch marker right into that stitch make it nice and tight and slip stitch once you have finished the last row in which is the last row for our super pretty snowflake we are going to chain one, cut the yarn right here, then you're going to pull the yarn and you're going to fasten off. So I'm going to show you now how I weave in, but you can just use any method you like. So what I'm going to be doing is using my tapestry needle, I'm going to just thread right here my yarn and then I'm just going to go through a couple of stitches here. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to be finding a stitch. I'll go through that stitch twice. And then the last one here, I'll be creating a loop. I'll go through the loop. I'll make it nice and tight. And then I'm going to be cutting my yarn right here. Just leaving a tiny little bit. Don't cut all the way very close to the knot because otherwise it can unravel. And I'm going to be doing the same with the other one. But yeah, this is 
is how it looks like as you can see it looks super pretty i'm super excited to share this one with you guys because it looks really pretty and it's my very first time crocheting a snowflake and i really really wanted to show you guys one because you asked me to do a snowflake and because i don't have any on my channel then i decided to just share one with you guys and imagine this snowflake right here as an ornament it would look so pretty and because this yarn right here it's acrylic it does stay quite nicely and flat as you can see right here it doesn't really fold or anything it's something that you guys can do so many things with for this christmas you guys can give as a gift as well maybe in a set of like five or six would look really pretty and also stay tuned because i am going to be bringing even more appliques and also appliques that you can actually make ornaments with as you can see right here so stay tuned for that because i'm so excited for all of the little appliques and ornaments that i have coming up here on the channel i think you guys will love all of them because they are all super different and something really cute for your christmas tree and also let me know in the comments if you want to see anything in particular maybe a ornament or an applique that you want to do and you don't know how to crochet let me know in the comments if you guys want to see anything in particular so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video stay tuned for all of the other ones that i have coming up for this christmas and if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave your thumbs up right here that helps a lot the channel to grow also comment subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to receive a notification every Every time I post a new video and I'll see you guys very soon on my next video bye